But I'm getting ready to go wheeling, so I need to do some stuff to the buggy, get it going. One of the things that I noticed, uh, one of my last trips, or two trips ago, something like that, was a couple of my wheels were really out of balance, and I was trying to figure out why that would be, and I realized uh, when I had one of them off, I could hear the internal beadlocks uh, section uh, bouncing around, so obviously gotten broke. Um, because I have old USA 6x6 wheels and they clamp uh, together uh, up, and then there's a PVC ring in the center and that's what holds the beads in place. Uh, they're a pretty good setup. I like them. Um, they're not even all that hard to deal with. I had a set of 16 and a half inch and mine are 17. So I got two sets and I had rings for both and I thought, hey, no problem. I'll cut down the rings because they're wider i'll cut down my rings internal rings for the 16 and a half it's not that big of a difference uh, i should fit wrong so apparently a 16 and a half inch rim uses a 16 and a half inch internal ring and a 17 inch uses an 18 so my 16 and a half fits inside the other one and it won't fit the wheel, my 17 inch wheel. So we're gonna do some sewing. I'll show you here. Oops. So this is the broken one. I'm gonna line everything back up. And I'll show you in more detail, but then we're gonna drill some holes and we're gonna use some safety wire and we're gonna tie it all back together. Oh, it's gonna take me a bit of time and it'll hold for now once i get it all back together Whoop. all right so i got started I'll show you what i did so far i got that one those four done and those down there a little better lighting there but uh so i just got to continue that on now i'm using a cross hatch pattern because as this moves I, I want tension going both ways if i just do one straight like i did that was the first one i did and i just did that to hold it but it will let sorry I'm moving everything around it's hard to hold this in place but this style will let everything move back and forth whereas this they're pulling against each other and it won't let it move this way if i let it move like that it's just eventually gonna wear out. I mean, I don't know, I've, I've repaired these before. I haven't had to do a whole thing, but I, I had to repair part of one. And as far as I know, it held. Um, maybe that's one of the others that broke. I don't know. All right, guys, we got it all back together. Well, I got the inner beadlock portion of it back together. Little Frankenstein looking. That lighting a little better. I don't know. It's hard to get light on it. This thing. Yeah, I don't know. At any rate, you can kind of see them. Little Frankenstein looking. But it should work. And that's all I really need. I need it to work until I can get the right pipe to make some new inner ones that won't break like this. But for now, I'm going to put it all back together and move on. 